right, so, bin number one. We went here. Numero uno. Numero uno. We got to Portland, got picked up by... Chrissy and Nick. Amazing people. And what do we do? Uh, we went home first. Well, yeah, we had to go and load the stuff, the, our empty luggages. And then... Say hi to dogs. And then she took us straight to the bins. Yeah. And it's kind of a culture shock because we've only seen a couple bins in LA and the difference is huge. It was really calm. And... Um, they had good music on. Yeah. And the people were sharing their space with me. It was really nice. And I know Reseller Revolution jokes around about Chrissy's bins being spa bins. I'd have to agree with that. It was I think pretty like, spa-ish. The only thing it was, like, le that was left out would had to be like some kind of uh, oil infuser that like smelled like eucalyptus. Hmm. Yeah, that was that's what was missing. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Maybe some tea too. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Um, yeah. Tea. But... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we don't normally do the bins, so we were a little bit slow with sourcing, and Chrissy helped us out a bit and threw stuff in the cart for us, but we did happen to find like one or two items on our own. So one of the things we found was a made well, oversized flannel long sleeve button front shirt it was nice it's clean mm -hmm. i mean obviously still got to process it but yes no stains um oh this pretty eileen fisher would you say it's almost the color of the year or whatever it's called no that was like last year the pantone color of the year was like last year it's the or pantone two years ago color year. of uh, some year some year yeah but this is one of my favorite finds because coral is like the color of our wedding. Get away from me. I gotta say, it's very soft. You can't feel that, but it's a very soft sweater. Um, an Adidas shirt, new with tags, and this one is an extra large. And next, we got Not Your Daughter Jeans. And this is a size 16, and that's what the Not Your Daughter Jeans logo looks like, if that ah, clears it, up. It focuses. And focus. There you go. Uh, and these are the straight jeans, so you can see. Normally they have their style on the inside, but these sell well for us, so if they're in good condition, we almost always will pick them up for the right price. Um, so going into what Chrissy helped us find are these Ugg boots, the she Bailey. Was quick on those. Yes, Bailey button Ugg boots, and these will have to get clean. We clearly have not cleaned them yet. Um, but what did she help us look out for? Because we don't normally pick these up. How she compares the heels. Oh yeah, so you're looking at the bottom part to see if this is like lined up and not like crooked um, to check for the wear on the boots. Um, next up we have also Uggs, but these are, what, they're, what are they called? They're espadrilles. Yes. They're I, espadrilles. I know shoes. So these espadrilles, they like lace up in this nice little navy blue thing, stringy stuff gotta get cleaned yeah um and then Christy also found for us oh sorry dropped her stuff uh north north face boots right here almost i mean they look like they're storage dirty because underneath it is very clean yes underneath it almost looks like it's no, unworn yeah. yeah um and then next up we have these Ugg boots, black studded, um, they do need to get cleaned and we have the Ugg cleaner and same thing you're looking at the bottom part of the shoe. Uh, and then last thing from Chrissy are these Pendleton booty sock 
things. things. Yeah. Uh, so they were. If you know listed... what it is, put it in the comment. Oh well, these were listed on Urban Outfitters, um, and they're sold out. So yeah, that's what these are. And then we picked up these Danskos, uh, Dansko sandals. And you normally see like Dansko clogs, uh, but we were able to pick up these sandals and we've sold them in the past. Um, and they tend to do well for us. Um, Clark, everyday shoes. Oh, there you go. There you go. Clark Everyday Shoes. Clarks do well for us. Um, we've sold them before. Uh, whenever we do get them, they sell well. Um, and then this one is a new brand for us and Christy found these. I don't know how to say it, but it's um, N-A-O-T. I think they were, uh, Christy told Israel. So these shoes are made in Israel. Now, I can't ask you guys to put in the comments how you say that, but if you follow us on Instagram, tag us, pronounce it, so we can learn how to say it. What did you find, babe? Yeah, no, I didn't find that much, but I did have fun rummaging, because normally, in LA at least, the bins are clothing. Alright, what'd you got? Yeah, Sony CD player remote. Oddly enough, as I was thinking to myself, I checked everything. No batteries, because I don't need to pay the weight of a battery, but it's also very nice and clean. Uh, no corrosion. But as I was thinking, you know, should I pick up another remote? We sold the remote. So that was a nice little encouraging part. And then another thing, this is the pedal to a, I don't know, I don't know if it's technically vintage, but it's an old uh, sewing machine. And these are replacement parts that you just can't go to the store and buy. So it was nice to see this pick it up. Yeah, and Kenmore is a Sears brand and um the Sears last... is no longer yep. really around. Yeah, they're going out. Alright, so that was what we picked up on the first one, the first day. It was, yeah. That was our very first bin trip in Portland. And I'd say it was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, mostly shoes. Uh, which we don't pick up too much because where we are the price of shoes are pretty high But as bin finds this was a pretty good pickup That's good stuff Let's see what's next 